Greetings, Grizzlies, and welcome to Channel 7 News. Where we dissect the news. And we talk about the news. This weekend, Ben and I had the opportunity to go down and watch the annual beverage race, which determines what the ideal beverage is for everybody to drink at band camp. Yes. Let's go check it out. Greetings, Grizzlies. Welcome to the annual beverage race to determine the best beverage that you should drink at band camp. Ben, who's running today? Well, uh, the, the one seed right now is the uh, Soda Sam. Uh, very popular choice. A lot of people have a lot of money on him. Mm -hmm. Then in the uh, the second seed, we have the Powerade Punisher. He could be a, a sleeper candidate to really, really pull through. We got some people betting on him. And then the last seed, you might call him the underdog in this race, Definitely. is the Waterboy Wet Willy. Uh, no one really has any money on him, but... I could definitely see a route for him pulling through in this one. Sounds like quite the battle. Let's go to the go to the track and see how they do. All right, and there they are. You see, we got Soda Sam there in the white. We got the Powerade Punisher in the red, and we got Wet Willie, the Water Boy, in blue. Let's see how they do. Go. Oh, there. And Looks like off. it's Wet Willie to an early lead. Oh. The Powerade Punisher's trying to stay with him. Doesn't look like he's doing a fantastic job. Oh and it's goodness. Wet Willie. So does Sam, just absolutely just bringing up the rear. Yeah. An absolutely abysmal performance from the favorite. A disappointment, but we can definitely say that Wet Willie showed his potential yeah. today. Water Boy really came through. Hello, this is Jonathan reporting from the sea, and I am on the track right now. Here's the interview, Wet Willie. So, Mr. Wet Willie, how does it feel to win the race today? Feels amazing. You know, I've been training really hard for this, drinking lots of water. Today I drank seven gallons. It's, it's non-stop around here. It's just really about that dedication non-stop, you know, just, just water. You heard it here first, folks. Water. Whoa, that was fun. It looks like you had a lot of fun, Ben. Yeah, we just got word. There's a zombie apocalypse. What? What? <gasps> Breaking news! It seems like there's a zombie apocalypse at Wadsworth High School. Let's join Sarah Calderon on the scene. Ben and Riley, I'm here live at the scene at Wadsworth High, but first I'd like to make it clear that we are not sponsored by Lowe's. Anyways, the students here seem to have not gotten enough sleep this past week during man camp, and it appears that they've become zombies and they're coming closer to me. <laughs> Their tired eyes and their slouched shoulders are all telltale signs of not getting enough sleep. They smell bad, they haven't slept in weeks. It's also so important that you get good hygiene, and although they seem to be smart, they are not functioning very well. Sleep can make you lose balance, lack motivation, lose concentration, and just straight up fall to the ground. Now these poor students, if you don't want to end up like them, get enough sleep during band camp. I'm very concerned. Oh no. Anyway, let's cut to a commercial break. You ever had trouble checking off and want to cry yourself to sleep? Yeah. Me too. But I have a solution for you. What is it, dude? That solution is asking your sexual leader for help. If you don't know how to play your part or if you're too nervous, that's what we're here for. Ask your section leader. What? If you ask your section leader <laughs> for help, you too can succeed. <laughs> Good <laughs> yeah. If you or a loved one have not checked off their music, please call this number, 1-800-SECTION-LEADER, right now. Thank you. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Sunglasses man, I will save you. Yeah! Yeah! I need aloe man. I'll save you. I'm aloe man. I'll soothe your burns. Ah! No, the only one who can save me is sunscreen. Man, 
Invest in Neutrogena sunscreen today. Don't sacrifice your skin for summer fun. Buy Neutrogena. The number one doctor recommended sunscreen will protect, moisturize, and heal your skin no matter what. Side effects may include unusual changes in your skin, such as not being burnt and living a happier life not being hunted by the sun. Well done. Are you just leaving me here? Maddie Cartwright with our special guest, the Martha Stewart. Isn't that the tax fraud lady? Yes. Uh, anyways, let's go to Martha Stewart. Welcome back to our weekly cooking segment, joined by our live studio audience and our good friend, Martha Stewart. Hi, I'm Martha Stewart. So Martha, why don't you tell us what we're gonna be making today? Well, for a tasty snack for band camp, we can start off with a delicious apple like this. What we can do, we can cut it carefully using an apple slicer. You don't want to slice off any of those fingers. Then we can arrange it on our plate like so. Feel free to join me. Ooh. Wow. And add just a little bit of a spunk to it. Pair it with some peanut butter. Wow. Looks delicious. Would you care the for kids a taste? I'm gonna really like this one. Oh, we're taste testing. Incredible. Okay. Never had anything better. All right, I don't know how we're gonna to top these apples and peanut butter, but what are you gonna show us next? Well, I'm going to be making a dish of oatmeal. Now, oatmeal is a type of porridge. However, porridge is not necessarily oatmeal. Got it? So we have pre-measured all of our ingredients. We're just gonna dump the oats into this bowl and fill it with some milk. Just enough for it to cover and soak. We're gonna pop it in the microwave for a little bit. And then we'll show you what you can top it with. Typically, with a banana like this, you might want to use it in banana bread. However, this is what we're gonna to be topping our oatmeal with today. What you're gonna do, you're gonna peel it, and carefully slice through in little segments. Okay. And mix it up just to get all that good milk. Then you can add your bananas in. Maybe you make them with a little cute design just because you're so happy to be at band camp. Take a few for the road.
Well, we've seen some delicious breakfast options, but Martha, what do you have to show us for lunch? Well, for lunch, we'll be making a sandwich and salad combo. We're gonna start with this lettuce. I took it from a bunch that was carefully picked, which just like a flower. And what you can do is either rip it or cut it off. We're gonna just dump that in the bowl. And then we can add some tomatoes, whole or cut, whichever you choose. Can add some carrots, also whole or cut, whichever you choose. I'll probably cut them later. And then to top it off, you can add a sprinkle of cheese. Now, if you'd like, you could add some dressing, but as for now, wow, it just looks delicious, doesn't it? To go with our salad today, we'll be making a sandwich. Our lunch meats of choice are salami, and pepperoni. Of course, you can use any lunch meats. This is just making me so hungry. And now for band camp only, we present to you Martha's do's and don'ts for band camp. First, we have cereal. This is a great alternative breakfast option. Just make sure that there is not too much sugar in it or it's Lucky Charms or something that'll make you barf on the field. Next, for dinner, you could have tacos or beans or anything of the sorts. Make sure you don't burn yourself on the stove and feel free to ask your parents or other guardians or siblings for help. Now here's some of the don'ts. Do not eat too much ramen during band camp. We have seen many people make this mistake at Kent. You will not feel good, there is too much salt in it. Also, don't eat too many chips. You will also not feel good. Martha knows this firsthand. She always eats too many chips. And lastly, don't forget that if you're not leaving the school during lunch to use a lunchbox and an ice pack to keep your lunch fresh and cool. Now, big thanks to Martha for being here today. Thanks, Martha. Woo! Go, Martha! Thanks for the tips, Martha. This weekend, the cast of Harry Potter reunited in order to encourage participation in local Wadsworth High School marching band's new point system. Let's head out and see what they have to say. Another year gone, and as I understand it, the trophy needs awarded and the points stand thus. In fourth place, with 312 points, the trombones. In third place, with 352 points, the clarinets. Second, the baritones with 426 points. And in first place, with 472 points, the drum line. Good one, Pifo. Yes, well done, drum line, well done. However, recent events must be taken into account, and I have more points to award. To Miss Becca Krieger, for perfect attendance, despite mountains of homework, I award the trombone section 50 points. Good job! Thank you! Second to Mr. Andrew Pipo for the fastest checkoffs in the history of the band program, I award 50 points. And third to Mr. Zach Orr for pure love and outstanding courage, I award the trombones 60 points. So add the 15, carry the five, and then multiply that by two, and oh, we're tied with the drum line. Heck yeah! Woo! And finally, 
It takes a great deal of courage to get to your dot, but a great deal more to do so on time and with a positive attitude. And thus, I award 10 points to Josh Wapo. And assuming that my calculations are correct, I believe a change of decorations is in order. The trombones win the weekly trophy. Congratulations. Channel 7 News. Where we dissect the news. And we go over the news. Until next time. Goodbye.